So when you take even a good thing like homeschooling and you make it the most important thing, it's actually become an idol. It's coming in between you and Jesus Christ. As you're talking about your homeschool journey and how you you really were running to something, why do you why why does this not guarantee the salvation of our kids? I mean, you know, if if you put a quarter in the vending machine, you're going to pop out a gumball most right. of the time. Sometimes they malfunction, but most of the time you're going to get your prize, right? Why is it that if we do all the right things, seemingly it doesn't guarantee salvation for our kids? This is one of the things I am most passionate about talking to other homeschool parents about because when we even subconsciously have this idea, okay, if I just pick the right curriculum, push those Mm -hmm. buttons, right? If I just, you know, follow the right parenting model, push those buttons. You know, if we just could somehow do it right, then we would get out this expected outcome. And I see this leading to so much fear, so much um, anxiety as a parent, right? Because, well, man, what if I picked the wrong curriculum? Does that mean that like yeah. my kids are doomed? You know, what if I yelled at my kids today? I'm sure none of you who are listening have ever yelled at your children. <laughs> but <laughs> just in case, you know, some other parent did that. Have you right, now right. ruined everything? Um, and so we know these are good things. Of course, it matters what books we bring into our home. Of course, it matters like how we parent. Those things matter, but they are not the Holy Spirit. <laughs> How homeschooling is not the savior of your children and Jesus alone is. So when you take even a good thing like homeschooling and you make it the most important thing, it's actually become an idol. It's mm-hmm. coming in between you and Jesus Christ. And so it's really, really important for us to remember that at the end of the day, we can do all these things, but the fruit is from the Lord. It is the Holy Spirit who takes our children's hearts of stone and gives them a heart of flesh. We can't somehow lecture enough or be the, you know, the perfect homeschool parent in such a way to be the savior to our children. And so the more and more we can see Christ as the ultimate goal and homeschooling and all these other things as tools. It really frees us up. I think frees us from a lot of fear and anxiety as parents. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then the great thing about that, which we've talked about lots of times, is at the end, we get to say, look what the Lord did, not look what I did. He gets all the glory for it in the end. And we, you know, I I think even if our kids don't turn out exactly as we think they should turn out, we know that the Lord is still in control and we know that we've still planted those seeds in their lives. We set the foundation for them and we can just let go and trust the Lord. And so I think there, you know, there can be fear on that side of, oh, well, if, if our kids mess up, it's all my fault. Or if they succeed, I'm the one who helped them to succeed, right? Look at me, look at what a great homeschool mom I am or homeschool dad I am. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 